it is Sunday the 6th of June as I'm filming this video and we're into the first week of winter here in Melbourne. We're also currently in lockdown take four so naturally we've been spending a lot of time indoors. It's been raining on and off most of this week and the days are getting darker and colder. It could be the weather, the lockdown or the busy past few weeks or probably a mix of everything. But today I'm in much need of a slow, self-care focused Sunday. So I thought it'd be nice to take you all along with me on this more relaxed vlog style video and share a day in my life and a few simple ways that I like to stay cozy this winter. Our mornings always start with us going around the house and opening up all the shutters. We like to let in as much natural light as possible into our home as it really helps brighten things up and natural light in general is a great mood booster. Even with all the blinds open, some days it can still get a little dark inside. So we also like to turn on some warm lighting, light a few candles and get our fireplace going. There's something so comforting about a warmly lit room, watching the flames flicker and the string lights glow. It's definitely the perfect way to keep our home cozy during these darker months. Before sitting down for breakfast, I decided to do a quick tidy up and just pick up a few things that we'd left out from the night before. We often do this the night before, but if not, it's usually first thing in the morning. One thing that I've learned about myself over the years is that my mood is often affected by physical clutter. So I find it helps to just make sure everything in my home has been given its own little home. After breakfast, it's time to get sipping and nothing beats snuggling up with a hot drink to warm myself up from the inside out. Today I've decided on a steaming cup of English breakfast. During this time of year, another way I like to keep things comfy and create a more inviting space at home is through the use of layers. Bundling myself up in something cozy and oversized and also bringing out the extra blankets and layering them onto our sofas and seating areas always helps add more warmth to our space. I spent most of the morning snuggled up on the couch, sipping away at my tea and getting stuck in this book that I've been reading. I've always been a bookworm ever since I was young, but in recent years, I have found it a lot harder to just find the time to sit down with a physical book. So I tend to opt for audiobooks as it's something that I can do on the go. But today it felt really nice to just sit down with an actual book in my hands and just take my time reading. Around noon, I decided to head outside for a walk. If I'm being honest, in the winter, I find it a real struggle to get outside. It's just so much easier to stay inside where it's all nice and snug, but I have been really pushing myself to do this, especially since I already spent so much time at home. So just having a change of scenery, moving my body and getting some fresh air always helps me feel refreshed and re-energized for the rest of the day. It's also a great opportunity to bring a bit of the outdoors indoors. On today's walk, I came across some rosemary and some silver dollar eucalyptus. So I decided to bring home a few cuttings to just cozy up our space. We're also growing some French lavender in our garden and I thought they'd look really nice amongst the green, so I cut a few sprigs of those as well. With the leftover rosemary, I made a stovetop potpourri. This is something I love to do during the cooler months and it's a wonderful and really easy way to make your home smell super cozy. I make a few different variations using different herbs, spices and fruits, but one of my favorite combinations is using cinnamon, star anise, cloves, rosemary and a couple of orange slices. 
I just add all the ingredients into a saucepan along with water and just put that on a really low simmer and let it go for a little while. It makes our entire home smell super warm, comforting and pretty much like a Christmas pudding. After that I ended up having some lunch, reading a little bit more and then later in the afternoon decided to have a bath. I always love a good bath as it really helps me feel relaxed and calm. I usually keep things very simple and all I'll usually add are magnesium salts. Magnesium is so great for the body as it helps relax your muscles, it can relieve any soreness following a workout, and it's just a great way to calm your body before bed. Today I decided to go a little extra and add in this bath bomb as well. I believe this is the Cheer Up Buttercup bath bomb from the store Lush. It was actually gifted to me by a friend um, and I've been saving it for a day like today where I just felt like I needed an extra pamper. Whilst having a bath, I always love having something on in the background. Sometimes I'll play an audiobook or a podcast or some soothing music, but today I decided to watch something instead. I'm a total friends nerd, I love this show, and I've been meaning to watch the reunion for a while, so I thought I would take the time to do that during my bath. After that, it was time for dinner. Tonight we're making a delicious vegetarian pasta, using up whatever veggies we had left in our fridge. And on the side, I decided I would bake some decadent chocolate brownies. This is a Donna Hay recipe and I'll leave it in the description for anyone that's interested. We enjoyed our dinner and dessert with a good movie. We're currently re-watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which has been fun. And at this point, I decided to end the filming here. I hope you all enjoyed this relaxing, cozy Sunday vlog. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you'd like to stay in touch, you can also follow me over on Instagram. Feel free to drop me a message, say hello. And you can also subscribe here on this channel and click on that notification bell so that you're kept informed of whenever I create new videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.